Although it was very little build, there is a lot of excitement and intrigue going into the Elimination Chamber. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Show and View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it all over the entire internet. Huge details as it concerns the return of the Elimination Chamber. It's a very good-looking card right now. Some rumors are flying around, and we could see some... Injury re replacements, heel turns, and even debuts take place on Sunday. Uh, please note, once again, these are only rumors and not anything confirmed for this Sunday. NXT champion Kevin Owens has looked incredible strong, incredibly strong since his first appearing on WWE television two weeks ago. He has destroyed John Cena twice on Raw and delivered an extremely strong promo on last SmackDown. Many think he could win the match Sunday. However, if Owens isn't going to be a full-time performer on WWE's main roster right now, although there's rumors that he will be very soon, he won't defeat Cena. Rumors suggest that Samoa Joe or Sami Zayn could show up at Elimination Chamber, distract Owens in some way, and cause him to lose the match. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose could very well put on the match of the night on Sunday, but there is something more that they may need to be looked at. Ever since Payback, the former members of The Shield have been closely intertwined. As Rollins and Ambrose have set up their feud, Roman Reigns has been involved as well. And he doesn't have a match at Elimination Chamber. It's believed that he could get involved and end up costing Ambrose the match, which would set up a feud between the two. Luke Hopper and Eric Rowan may show up to help Bo Dallas defeat Neville or show up after the match to beat Neville down. The Big Show may return to WWE TV. Not that that's a big deal to anybody. Brock Lesnar is not expected to show up at this event despite rumors of his return coming on numerous different dates. So ladies and gentlemen, there is the latest rumors, news, and gossip as it concerns the Elimination Chamber on the WWE Network on the last month of the on the last day of the month. Now here is something also interesting to note about the um Dean Ambrose Seth Rollins match. Another route that is being rumored and speculated on is Dean Ambrose will get the victory, but it will be a screw-up victory. You remember when Jericho pinned Triple H via a fast count on Monday Night Raw back in, I think it was the year 2000, and the finish was, you know, a bit s screwed up. There was some controversy to it. There is rumors that there's going to be some controversy if Dean Ambrose defeats Seth Rollins in the match for the WWE World title, where Dean Ambrose will initially win the match, he'll win the championship, but then he'll be stripped of the, of the belt either that night or the following night on Monday Night Raw, as it would be inconclusive. The authority would show replay rules, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, you know, I'll tell you what, the Elimination Chamber, it came out of nowhere. No one saw it coming. No one expected it. We thought the pay-per-view was gone, and now the Elimination Chamber, ladies and gentlemen, is coming back to the WWE in a big way. And I can tell you right now that the, the excitement in the air is a hell of a lot more excitement than we got at Payback. And I'll tell you what, Payback was actually a solid pay-per-view. So I think the WWE with the first ever WWE Tag Team Championship match, the Intercontinental Championship match, the first time ever deciding the champion, you know the WWE is going to have to do something big. They're going to have to pull off something historic because it's going to be a historic event where there's going to be a lot of firsts. There's going to be a lot of history. And the WWE does not want to dull it down or water it down by giving you a half-assed product. So I think on this night, the WWE will be all in. But that's just my views and my opinions. What I'm looking forward to is your comments and your opinions. And what do you think the WWE is going to do? Do you think Seth Rollins is going to walk out champions? Is Roman Reigns going to turn heel? Is Dean Ambrose going to get the victory, although tainted? What about the Intercontinental Tag Team Division? Will Brock Lesnar make his return that night? What about Rusev? What about Bray Wyatt, the replacement? Subscribe.